2019 question number 3c try to look into the question for each of the following points of dependent and independent pick more appropriate functional form let us try to read the first one it says that y represents the demand for food and x represents price of food beta hame pata hai ki usually demand curve downward sloping hote hain aur linear hote hain linear demand curve matlab i can represent it using a linear equation main isko ek linear equation se represent kar sakti hu where just that i have to consider that this slope should be negative so it will be a linear demand curve where i need to ensure that beta 1 should be less than 0 it should be negative okay come to the second part it says average fixed cost of production and output now we know that average fixed cost is a rectangular hyperbola mane jaise suppose fixed cost is 100 beta and output hai 1 unit so 100 divided by 1 will be 100 Now suppose fixed cost is two hundred. Ah, uh, sorry, hundred. Output is two. So hundred divided by two, one day, fifty will be there, beta. Then three. This will be thirty-three point three three. Then four. This will be twenty-five. So fixed cost drastically fall. So therefore, we need a rectangular hyperbola, which means I need a reciprocal model. So I am going to write y is equal to beta naught plus beta one x i. right just make sure that this is defined as long as x is positive because x is my output and my output is always non negative in particular it is positive kyunki zero unit pe average fixed cost cannot be defined right so i will get my uh, equation only as long as x is greater than 0 okay look into the third one it says Y is population in India and X is the time period. Now try to understand this thing that population is always told in terms of growth rate, है ना? तो क्योंकि growth rate की terms में बात कर रहे हैं, so we can go ahead and we can use a log lin model where X represents the time period and this re Y represents the population, and we know that in such cases beta one into hundred. that means this value it will give a good measure of the growth rate right so this is how you can use the different models okay beta thank you